now we understood about this vf and if and these all things we have understood right let's go on to the main.js and here i am having some post data some post data it's an array of object and first one you'll be having id1 and the second one you'll be having title sample title okay so this is one post and here i will be having another one id of two and i will be having title sample description so this is another post so these are the posts we are having now i want to render this post in the html so how can i render this post is so i have instead in this divide is equal to app only here i will be having ul or otherwise i can have a table so in this table i will be having t head so we can have tr thid and i can have another one name so this is one table t head and i can i will be having t body in this one i need to render okay so here i can i can have tr this one i will be having so one is one is, one is nothing but post of zero dot id right another one is post of zero dot name title sorry so in the same scenario i can have another one post of zero post of one dot id and post of one dot title so like this we'll be having so if you are having multiple things so now if you try to see the output we are able to get this one id sample one sample title sample description why because these are in the data variable i am able to access this post variable like this string interpolation now tomorrow if you have another one id okay so id is equal to three and sample description three here we can have two sorry title for this one i have given description okay no problem so we are having three elements now again what i need to do here again i need to add some one tier and we need to read so these are all things you know already so now in the vue.js how we can do this one so we can do this one so we have an array of objects and we can loop over this object using the vifn for loop and we can remove this all the tr thing and we can use this vifn for loop okay so here we will be having post in post so we are having a, a post in post in post or post of post anything it will work i think anything will work uh, post in post item in items so this is the thing so now the syntax is post in post is the variable which we are using it in the data okay this is the data variable and each post and uh, each post it will try to loop over this one each post will come into this variable sorry so this is one post and this one will be rendered into this post and you can access it using something like post dot title and you can also use post dot id and post dot title like this that's it so now this will loop over this post in post and it will try to display it one by one see the same output we are able to get it but this time we have looped over i think in the console we will get some error okay we are not getting okay leave it so this is the post thing so for example let's say that if i try to add it here id is equal to 4 and simple description is equal to 4 then automatically this one also will be rendered automatically here see so this is about the for loop so this is the list rendering so vfn for directive so we can use it items here how we has given so vfn for like this we can do it items like this we can do it and if you want to get the index you can get the index also index means nothing but this is a 0th index this is the 0th index this is the first index this is the second index and as an array so this one is an array right if you want to get the index you can have it something like comma index and you need to cover it with like this and this is the index so you will get something like 0 1 2 3 like this so array have an index and like this you will be able to see yeah 0 1 2 3 okay so that is the index if you want to get the index you can get the index like this so that is the main thing it should do. so they are trying to tell you about this one for each loop and all those things which you are trying to do it the same thing they will try to do it so object also it will work okay for object also we can loop it so for object also we can loop, loop it they are trying to say so that is the main thing so these are all the things so we can do it like this only you can we can learn it one by when you try to learn about the components thing. <coughs>
for example if you want to loop over an object means i am having a percent details so i am having a percent details this is an object and here we are having name leela and here we will be having country like this so you can say like this so i want to loop over this person means i can loop over here so here i can show it do okay and here i can do it um mm. per is equal to value in person and here i can do it something like that so now we can do it like this so now if i try to see the output i'm able to get leela usa and if you want to get the key value also you can use it something like this okay the for loop will be useful for only uh, not only for this uh, array we can also use it for this object also now here i can use it like this key and here I can. now if i try to see yeah here name leela country usa like this we can able to see so this is all the basic introduction of this for loop so like this we can use it the for loop for doing the for looping over the for rendering all the, all of this list items arrays and all those things we can do it